Welcome to this Python programming course. I am your teacher here to teach you the subject called Python programming. This is the first lecture of Python programming that is introduction. Under this lecture, we will cover few topics which we need to get started with Python programming language. I would like to list down those topics one by one. So let's see all the topics of this presentation one by one. Here comes the first topic that is why Python. We will learn why we need to learn Python under this topic. The second topic is the syllabus. We will see the entire syllabus of this course in this topic. The third topic is the target audience. We will also see who is the target audience of this entire course. Let's see the first topic that is why Python. Why we need to learn Python as a beginner? You might have this question if you are a beginner. If you are a beginner and you want to get started with some programming language, then I would recommend you to start with Python because Python is very easy to understand language. If you are not from a computer science background, starting with Python would be an easier choice and would be the best choice for you. If you are from a computer science background, then also you can start with Python because not only Python is easy to understand, there are many other reasons why you should learn Python. And I would like to list down all those reasons one by one. The first very reason why you should learn Python is that Python is an open source programming language. Which means when you write applications with Python, you don't have to pay even a single penny to write those applications. You don't have to pay anything. This is the meaning of open source. The second reason is that Python has a huge community support, which means that the community is quite wide out there. If you are stuck somewhere during the development process, then there is a community which can help you to get out of that phase. The third reason is that Python is a cross-platform programming language, which means that the applications that you write with Python can run on any machine. Any machine. It can be Mac, it can be Windows, it can be Linux, it doesn't really matter. You just have to worry about the development of the applications and you shouldn't worry about the platform. Python will take care of that. The fourth very reason why you should learn Python is that it has a huge set of libraries and tools. This means most of the job is already done. When you write applications with Python, you can include the code already written by someone to speed up the development process. There is a lot of code already available which you can use in your code to speed up the development process. So these are all the different reasons why you should learn Python as a beginner. After understanding why you should learn Python, let's see the entire syllabus of this course. I have divided the syllabus into three sections. The first section is basic Python. The second section is intermediate Python and the third section is advanced Python. Under this section, we have total seven chapters. I would like to list down those chapters one by one. The first chapter is the introduction. This lecture is part of the introduction chapter. The second chapter is variables, expressions and statements. Don't worry about these names at this moment. You will learn each and everything under the chapters. I am just listing down the chapters right now to give you the idea what you can expect from this course. The third chapter is list, dictionary and tuple. The fourth chapter is conditionals and loops. The fifth chapter is functions. The sixth chapter is file handling. The seventh chapter is modules. So there are total seven chapters in this basic Python section. Now let's move to the second section that is intermediate Python. And under intermediate Python, we have total seven chapters. The first chapter is exception handling. Second chapter is debugging. The third chapter is classes and objects. Fourth chapter is inheritance. The fifth chapter is iterators and generators. The sixth chapter is list dictionary comprehensions. The seventh chapter, that is the last chapter, is sets and command line. 
So these are all the chapters in the intermediate Python section. After the completion of the intermediate Python section, we will move to the advanced Python section. Under the advanced Python section, we have total seven chapters. The first chapter is multiprocessing. The second chapter is multithreading. The third chapter is unit testing. The fourth chapter is decorators. The fifth chapter is lambdas. The sixth chapter is regular expressions and the last chapter that is the seventh chapter is context managers these are all the chapters which we will learn in advanced python section so there are total 21 chapters which we will cover in this entire course okay after understanding what we can expect from this entire course let's see the target audience so who is the target audience for this course if you are an absolute beginner, then you are most welcome in this course because we will cover everything from scratch. We expect you to follow along with this course. That is the only thing. There are no prerequisites at all to get started with Python. If you are a professional programmer, then also you can expect a lot of things to be covered in this course. As you have seen already that we have intermediate and advanced Python sections as well. If you are a professional programmer, you can select some topics from these sections according to your needs. If you are someone willing to learn Python, then also you are most welcome. If you want to explore this wonderful language, you are most welcome in this course. We will cover a lot of things from scratch. Okay, we have seen why we need to learn Python in this lecture. We have also seen the entire syllabus and we have seen the target audience as well. Now we are ready to dive into this course and we will learn a lot of things in this course as we proceed. Thank you for watching this lecture. I will see you in the next lecture.